smell this? Brave. Yeah, guess please. It's big. It's an old ground though. Old stadium. What is it? It's an old, old stadium. It's not better than ours. It's ours better. <laughs> Not as good as our place, Lewis. No. I just love to see a grass. Because it's a red, fresh new grass here for the new season. See? Still not as good as our place, though. Touch the bar. Touch the bar. That still seems as big, did it? No. It doesn't seem as big. You couldn't do that two years ago. God, I'll tell you what, Lewis, here. I've only, uh, I can tell you some of the stories of some big games that took place here over the years. I remember a story years ago, me and Granda were up here watching Linfield and Glen Torn on Boxing Day in the snow and the only orange ball they had burst and they had to play with a white ball. Mm -hmm. I think there's actually footage on YouTube because it should be a clip of it now if there is now. If not, we'll just continue filming. But uh, yeah, years ago, Dad and I stood up here and watched the game on Boxing Day. We're in the, uh, Blues against the Glens. I was here in 1990 for the Gold Cup final as well. Put her down against Linfield, which I have an autograph still from that night. So, but yeah, just up there we stood. A long time ago. I have a clip here from that game on YouTube, I'll show you it. But back in the day, Lewis, the only orange ball they had burst, and they had to play this snow and a white ball. Boyd, a ricochet just McBride header was the closest they came in the opening 20 minutes. Alan Dornan playing at left back in a reshuffled Linfield defence tested Glens keeper Neil Armstrong from distance. And the Glen Torrent back four was altered as well. Colin Nixon in the centre, George Neal at right back due to the suspension of Michael Smith and John Devine, whose height was certainly missed as Linfield took the lead. Alan Ewing's header making it 1 0 to the Blues. The Glen still worked hard to create chances. Eddie Cunnington will be disappointed he didn't do better here. Then the bright snow obviously impaired Neil Armstrong's vision as he picked up a back pass. Indirect free kick awarded. Darren Erskine miscued. Glentoran left their best football of the half to the end but found no way past Blues keeper Darren Crawford. Deputising superbly for Wesley Lamont, he produced two fine saves. The first from Cunnington and the second from Londoner Glenn Little, who displayed some silky skills, unfortunately for the Glen men, not often enough yesterday. In the second half, the orange ball burst and the fans weren't happy. But the ball couldn't be changed, only white ones left in East Belfast. And the fans weren't the only ones who had trouble seeing it. Glenn Little did have the ball at his feet somewhere when hacked a couple of times. But it wouldn't be Boxing Day without a bit of a scuffle. Although Jeff Spears needlessly wanted to take the fight somewhere else. The Glentorn defence certainly didn't catch sight of the ball or Alan Ewing as he scythed through to pop in Linfield's second. Ewing epitomising the Blues' prowess in the midfield area yesterday. Glentorn didn't quite throw the tile in just yet. Trevor Smith had his header cleared off the line by the extremely effective Philip Nell. But Ian McCush sealed the 3-0 win for a patched-up Linfield team without the likes of Gorman, Campbell, Byrne, Fenlon, Beatty, McLean and Miller. The Blues sliding. On ahead, Lewis. Lewis is now doing goalkeeper. Two returning players are taking shots against them. Matthew Ferguson and Ryan Deans. Here we go. Ah, come on, Lewis, can you get that? No chance. No chance. Playing the axe at the oval. Oh, 
Well, it's half time here at the Oval, guys. It's nil nil, and uh, the Welders have done okay. They've had a couple of wee half chances, but uh, Glen Torn obviously are a lot stronger. But overall, it's been a good performance in the first half. So uh, Lewis is down there doing his photographs for half time. So let's see how we get on the second half here. If there's any goals, well, we'll show you them. Well, beat 2 1 here. How do you think we got on tonight? No? No. It was alright, wasn't it? It was good. My it was decent. socks are so when you go home. <laughs> you got soaked. <laughs> no, I tried to walk on glass over the other side, right? And it turned out to be a puddle underneath. Oh, you got soaked? No, my feet got soaked. <laughs> What do you think of Michael's goal? Did you I see? Goal Michael's goal was good. He, he rounded it around the keeper and all. Oh, you know whenever a ball went out earlier, one splashed a puddle and hit all over me. Yeah. Well, guys, we're about to leave the oval here shortly. I'm gonna try and get a man interview here with the manager. Here, come on over here. We second. Come here. Over here. What we're we gonna do? We interview here for BBC for you. Come on over here. No, I'm not BBC. Thank you. Right, Stan, just you stand there. Right, Lewis, how do you think you get on today? <laughs> not good. No. You gonna talk? Or you just gonna drink your water? I mean drink. Okay. Where are we second to talk to you? Wet. It's not that wet, you balloon head. Right. Come on under here. We'll look at beat 2-1. The boy's done all right today, I must say. Yeah. James McCarthy went off with a head injury. Just talking to him where he banged his head. He's all right, though. But Michael's goal was good, though. Come on, he, he cheekily took it around the keeper and placed it into the net. Massive miss. Do you miss it? Well, no, I'm asking if you miss. What, an empty net? Yeah, I'm fine. No, he's not Ronnie Rosenthal. Anybody don't know what Ronnie Rosenthal is going on YouTube it and watch it. He rounded the keeper and hit the crossbar. I think it was an F it was an FA Cup tie back in the day. Ronnie Rosenthal, Liverpool, go and check out that video. Funny. Right, we're gonna go here. Head back to the house. Have a good night, deal with Spike and Dainsey hitting shots at you. How's your mitts? Sore? No one I see the crossbar who bite me at um. You need to get your pair of gloves. Yeah. Right, we're gonna go and check out that view here with the manager. We'll see you back at the house. Well guys, it's the next day and I'm going to bring this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed the footage from the Oval. I also hope you enjoyed the footage um, that I showed you back in the day when Dad and I were at a game on Boxing Day. From what my memory serves me, I think it was about 1995 that game took place with the ball burst, the orange ball. Madness so it was. Um, the fans were shouting change the ball as you saw in the footage there. But I managed to dig it up on YouTube. So it was uh, great memories whilst not back. Sorry the footage isn't the great quality, but... It's the best I could find back from back then on YouTube, so apologies for that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video where we uh, went to Glen Torrens Ground, the Oval. Um, hopefully get back there very soon for a video for Red Men Football Ventures. Fingers crossed. Um, good luck to Glen Torrens this season uh, as well. I spoke to some of their staff last night who were really, really great to Lewis and I. Spoke to some of the players as well, um, especially their recent retired goalkeeper, Elliot Morris. I used to work with Elliot a long time ago um, for a local business here in Bangor. Me and Elliot used to work together. He just recently retired there from football, but he's still on the coaching staff at the Oval. He's sort of in the background now. So Elliot's had a, a, a fantastic career. He's won everything. League titles, Irish Cups. He's played in European games. He's played everywhere. So Elliot just retired. I just briefly ran to him last night and I got to say hello to him. So it was great running into Elliot last night. So it was so... Uh, it's good to see he's doing well after uh, life in football. But anyway, guys, I want to go here nice. If you enjoyed this video, as always, drop a like on this video if you're new to the channel here. Also, hit subscribe below. Don't forget, Redmen Football Ventures starts this weekend. Um, we are in the middle here of watching Liverpool versus Manchester City at the minute. Um, we're not going to do a Football Ventures video for the Community Shield, but we are back at Anfield tomorrow. Um, we're Liverpool are in pre-season action tomorrow at Anfield, so stay tuned for the Match Day vlog from Redmen Football Ventures. 
check out the channel in the link below guys not just for liverpool fans it's for all football fans as well because we do videos in the irish league too as well so stay tuned for those coming up on the channel so please drop a subscribe and a like on redmen football ventures in the link below as well guys so until the next video i'm going to get this one edited I'm heading off to liverpool tonight with lewis so stay tuned for the vlogs coming up till the next one see you all soon guys thanks for watching <laughs>